1971, the first ever one of these was sent. It is, of course, an email, and it was sent on a, um, a private network that was part of a military defence uh, project. Um, but it's actually not true. It's the often stated um, idea that the first email was sent in uh, 1971. But that's not really true. That was the first time one was sent in the form that we'd recognise today between two computers. But the um, idea that electronic mail uh, started in 1971 is, is far from accurate. Over a hundred years before 1971, electronic messages were being sent using telegraph equipment. And in 1870, the idea of using mechanical devices to send information down telegraph lines was proposed. That idea developed over the following 30, 40, 50 years and we ended up with devices such as this. This particular machine is a Creed 7B Mark I teleprinter. It was built in 1931 and it was used to send what is the equivalent of emails. Uh, in fact these of course are teleprinters and they were used to send um, information electronically from one machine to another one of these or from one machine to multiple other machines. So it's in fact equivalent to emails. It did exactly the same job, it just used different machines. And obviously this is a purely electromechanical machine. It's driven by motors and solenoids uh, and whatever. So the whole basis for the history of electronic data transfer, as I say, it started back in the uh, 1800s and developed up through into these semi-automated machines um, into the sort of 1920s, 1930s. They really started to come of age during World War II where they were very heavily used in military applications. This particular machine is a military version of this and these were used fairly extensively at uh, Bletchley Park which um, I'm sure you know is where the uh, Enigma code was, um, was broken. And these machines are the very ones that were used to communicate amongst the various people working at the site and on other sites to send information back and forth. Uh, also they use telephone lines the same way that um, modern email does but the data was just uh, transferred in a, a different fashion. And what I'm trying to do with the channel is to fill in all the gaps for the historical development of things such as computers, um, communications, uh, anything really to do with uh, data and uh, technology development and this is a very good example of how we started off with a very mechanical machine and it uh, developed into more sophisticated electromechanical machines and then into um, machines that were purely electronic and that is what we're using today but the fundamental principle is the same in terms of the way they transfer data it's just far more sophisticated these days so this video is just an introduction to what I have planned for the channel. Um, as I say, there will be many more videos hopefully coming up with old machines like this. And over the next few videos, I'll be showing uh, the restoration of this particular machine. And then from that point onwards, hopefully I can get more machines like this and go through the way they work, restoration, and then show you how they transfer data from one place to another. As I say, this is the first in a series where I'll be restoring this machine. The first step will be to examine it very carefully, make sure that uh, all the bits that are required are here, and then I'll completely dismantle it, clean all the parts, and then I'll start putting it back together and carrying out the various adjustments. So that's what's coming up in the next few videos.